Friends, welcome back to the No Laying Up Preview Show presented by the DraftKings Sportsbook. My name is DJ Pihowski. I'm joined, of course, with by my associates, Chris Solomon, Big Randy, and TC across the board there from me. Gentlemen, welcome back from Oregon. Uh, thrilled to be back in the Kill House. I don't know about you guys. Kill House is a mess. It's a complete mess in here. It's, it's right on the borderline between looking extremely unprofessional and, you know, kind of cheeky. As soon as Neil leaves, the place just deteriorates day by day by day by day. So uh, we need you back in the house, Neil. We're back. We're back on the couch this week. Back to watching some golf. We've got the BMW Championship presented by our friends at BMW, uh, and we're going to Olympia Fields, mm -hmm. site of the what 2003 U.S. Open. Correct. Is site that right? Of Bryson's U.S. Am win. Site of Bryson's U.S. Am win. Site of waiting for someone to go with like, try to use that for reasoning to pick Bryson this week. <laughs> you know what the sneaky hipster one's going to be is you know they've got a great college tournament at Olympia Fields, and, and a guy who's played there you know is, is Colin Morikawa. He's, he's played at the Illini Invitational. Spoiler alert, I'm picking Colin Morikawa, but we'll get there later. I'm taking Bryson, too. <laughs> uh, what do we remember about that fateful day in 2003? Anything? Anything you tell us about Olympia Fields? I mean, it's a, it's a U.S. Open golf course. I got to think it's going to be a ball striker's fiesta. It was too easy that one year. Remember, VJ went super low. Uh, Not as low as Furyk. Furyk went low. It's just, it was too easy. I don't, think that's, I don't necessarily think that's going to be the case. Early reports we've gotten that it's long, and it's tough. It's going to be tough. Saw, we saw a picture of a shaved bank instead of some rough right next to one of the greens. Mm, always which, good. How about that development? Maybe, I don't think we're going to see minus 30 this week. How about that? I think that's probably right. Uh, what do you think? Should we just get straight to picks? I got four picks, all 25 points. I first want to say terrible pick last week. Um, if I'm being honest, I didn't do any research and, and took the easy way out with, with one single pick. So Has that changed this week? Uh, I, I put a little bit more research okay, into good. it. Um, so, like I said, four picks. These will all be 25 points. Uh, the first one, we're going matchup. The decky over Smoke and Scotty. Oh, now hmm. he that, looked that, in his eyes when he made. Well, that that's pick. that's plus one hundred and TC. That's only a reflection of Scotty's out of gas. Exactly, we've been saying that that needles down on E. I picked against. I picked Sungjae against Scotty. Many people forget this. I picked him against him two weeks in a row, and it, it came back to bite me. Scotty, you can't you can't ever count that guy out. No. Even at his old age, like Bud Collin. Yeah. So that's the first one. Uh, the second one, I am going top. This is a prop. Top past champion. Mm. And I, anytime, a lot of names in there. Dustin, JT, Tiger. Leash. Exactly. Leash. I'm taking Rory. And you, of course, there's Rory as oh, well. Rory, you know, maybe this will be some inspiration for him. But anytime you can get Rory plus 450, uh, I, I got to take a little bite out of that. <laughs> my next two, uh, my final two are nationality plays. Mm. Top American. Now, this is a top four American only bet. Top four American only. They got to be in the top four and American? They got to be one of the top four Americans. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh. They got to be top four American. Patrick Cantlay at plus 500. Five to one for Cantlay to be top just of, in the top four American? Top four U.S. American. Ready? That that's, <laughs> smells like good value. Yeah. And then my final one, you know, this is top English bloke. <laughs> There are only three guys, three Englishmen in the field. I'm taking Matty Fitz at plus 200. This is practically a home game for him. He's been, <laughs> he's been like two months at, at Northwestern. Yeah, Chicago's, Chicago's nebbish, Big Ten team. Though. Yeah, so that's that's my final play. Huh. Good stuff. TC? First of all, I would like to shout myself out. <laughs> we hit the Canadian last week, baby. All uh, 26, I believe. Yeah, 26. All uh, 26 bets? All 26 ways. That yeah. is incredible. Tried, to, tra I tried yeah. to trap him into saying 26 bets. <laughs> no, I'm absolute sweepstakes. Total wager was $52. Again, this is only one wager. Point. 20, uh, 52 points. <laughs> paid, paid out 446 82 plus the 52 original points. So uh, about 498 points. Oh my um, gosh. I want to say that it's a complete triumph of the human spirit that you found a way to gerrymander the rules so hard to, pretty, to pull something like pretty that. Pretty cool off. that I did it with doing no research. <laughs> <laughs> doing my to plays. Be fair, right I haven't researched there. anything. Uh, so we're, we're, we're on to Chicago. We're excited. Uh, first play Tony Finau, five units, five points uh, to win at plus 4,500. Mm, thrilling bet. Um, he never wins, though. Respect. Bryson DeChambeau. Plus 1,500, six points to win. Six points. The big golfer. Won the USAM here. And then I was going to bet Morikawa, decided against it. I'm a little bit afraid that he's, he's a little afraid at this point. Um, Max Homa, top five, plus 3,300 for six points. 
And then, so those are my first three plays. Here, Next, comes, here comes the Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. All the water's rushing out. <laughs> and the big Next, we're doing in. a four-pick parlay. Uh, these guys are all to win their groups. Woodland, Adam Scott, Finau, and Jason Day, all to win their groups. You can look on screen to see what those groups are. That's a five-point parlay uh, that pays out um, 1,822 points. And then lastly, we're going to do a Canadian. Uh, Bryson over Xander, Rory over Berger, Cantlay over Morikawa, Adam Scott over Paul Casey, and Hideki over Scotty Scheffler. And this is a three-point Canadian. Uh, so total wager, 78 points, pays out 653. Fingers crossed for you, TC. Nice. Another inspirational. Well, one of these weeks, I'm going to include a Canadian in my Canadian. That would be a true honor. Uh, Solly? Um, so last week, a rare winning week for me. Hey, uh, congratulations. I won Webb Simpson in the top 10, won John Rahm as the low Arizona State player. Uh, this week, uh, I insinuated that I might be going with Bryson and I am for 30 points to win at mm. plus uh, 1,500, actually. Victor Hovland is due for, to win one of these. He kind of sniffs around, has a bad back nine. You know, I know the chipping's an issue. 10 points at him plus 4,500. Puerto Rico's uh, probably his bigger issue. Exactly. Got a little, little tip on this one. Mm. Hideki Matsuyama. Flushing it. Top 10, 20 points at plus 350. This right? feels like a Hideki course. He's never made a putt, but I think he can, you know, sneak it, ball strike his way into the top 10. Hovland, we're going to do a safety bet. 30 points on him plus 150 for a top 20. And then another little tip. Nick Taylor, top 20, 10 points plus 600. Just for a top 20. Not, Absolutely flushing. Right not now. good enough to make TC's Canadian as, as a potential I don't, I, Canadian. I don't even think he was offered as a matchup. Well, that's that's good stuff, Sally. I love it. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple this week. I am in no doubt stuck in neutral after a big start to uh, this whole shebang. Not a lot of winning weeks the last few, so I'm, I'm going to start pressing a little bit. I, I hate to, you know, usually I would have liked to see it kind of come to me, but... We're going to press a little bit. We're only doing two plays. Mm. One, Colin Morikawa. They actually have a college tournament here. I believe he's played You know, he's played that, so he should know the place. Uh, I'm doing 50, 50 nuggets on Colin Morikawa at uh, plus 2,600, 26 to 1. Uh, you know, last time he missed a cut, he came back and won the next week. Uh, and then my other play is going to be a parlay. Uh, five ways. We're taking a big swing. Hideki over uh, Scotty Scheffler, TC, no offense. Colin Morikawa over Patrick Cantlay. Rory McRib over Daniel Berger, maybe the hottest player in the world, not named Dustin Johnson right now. Uh, Billy Horschel over Matt Kuchar. Crazy to, to me that Matt Kuchar is like rising in the world rankings right now, but he's kind really? of playing. Yeah, it's it's nuts, but Billy Horschel's playing really great too. Gary Woodland over, uh, shout out to Neil Lord, Tyrrell Hatton. That is going to be plus 2650. I'm wagering 50 points on each of those. Uh, so that's to pay out 1375 if that hits. Let's throw it over to Neil, see what he's got cooked up, and then uh, we'll see you guys next week after that. Cheers. All right. The Short Hill Sharp coming to you live, or somewhat live, in an undisclosed location here in New Jersey, back from a big trip, um, having some Monday scaries a little bit. Um, but I've got four picks this week. The first is Rory McIlroy to win. The second is Xander Shoffley to win. The third is Patrick Cantlay to win. And the fourth is Mr. Good Morning, Joel Damon to top five. Um, the odds are all like, somewhat good I just think those three guys have been sniffing around the keister and they've got a lot of talent and it feels like it's one of those years where someone different is winning every week and it feels like a perfect situation for Rory specifically to have one of those you forgot about me weeks and everyone's gonna be like forget about DJ Rory's back and no one's better with his eight plus game than Rory nah. so I want to be on that train who knows anyway those are my picks uh, Tough week last week, and I can't bet on Chez because he didn't make the uh, top 70. So we'll pour one out for uh, everyone's favorite grinder, Chez. Uh, looking forward to it. Um, yeah, see y'all later.